Hey guys, I'm going to do a follow-up video on a song that I recorded maybe three to four years ago. And what I was looking to do is make an acoustic version of this song as far as chording goes to get a little bit more out of um, the chords and sounds for uh, those types of unplugged gigs. And with that, the song is uh, by the band Atlanta Rhythm Section, and it's the song um, So Into You. It was originally done in a different key, probably like F or something. And I looked at E, E minor, what could I do with that um, to get some open voicing type chords, uh, fills things in a little bit more. And this is what I came up with. My guitar is a standard tuning, and then from there, I took the uh, B string and dropped it down to an A, and the E string, I dropped it down as well too, to a D. So now what I have is... That's what I have now. This, the B string, equivalent to an, equivalent to an A, and the E is equivalent to a D. Okay, so I have that going on now, and I'm using an E minor. So this way here, on whether it's electric or acoustic guitar, it's gonna fill in a little bit more. The piano that they used there, like I think it was an electric piano that they used on this song originally, and that intro with those chords, man, it's just pulsing and very, 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 um, it just pulls you in, the, the sound and tone. And so what I was able to do by figuring out to drop these two strings down. It gave me this in a, when I use an E minor. If I play that with a strum pattern, down, 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 up, down. If I have that going on. Now, if I take a C2 chord, as if I was playing a C major chord and I drop the index finger off, if I slide that up two frets and then slide it back two frets, I get this. Next little piece, what I'm doing is, I've got a little, on the, the last two notes, I've got a pick down, pick down, and then go to the low E, okay? here and the fingers are coming off of the notes just a little bit as well too or the little strings you hear that that hammer on you can use that for the the verse the verses so here's the intro. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 down. By the up, down, up, down, I'm obviously on the strum pattern is kind of what I'm telling you to do. Again, two, three, four. Down, 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 up, down, up.
was captured by your style. That goes into an A minor seven is the way I would play it. But I, I cannot, because of the tuning now, instead of this note be, or this finger being here, I have to just slide it up about three frets. Let's see, two frets right there. So this one is, this one stays in the position that an A minor seven would be, but you're replacing now, you're either going like this or like this. And he's using the pinky. What I do is use the index finger and I double up my middle finger on that same string to, to get that little sound that the they were ha they had going in the diddle little 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 diddle little I'm so into you goes piece goes up on the sixth string. We build that chord on a six, five, four. Okay, you had that little triangle in there. Okay, so now you have six, five, and right under it. the song the the notes kind of build like me into you you into me me into you you can do that vocally and add that me into you you into me me into you try to play a little bit of it I'm very rusty on this and uh, you know if if you're just looking hopefully you're not just looking to uh, just pick it apart uh, it simply is a different way of doing things and uh, so that here's my take on it okay
uh, okay. I could play and sing more, but just a little shorter, condensed version of what I'm doing. And um, I was real intentional about finding alternate chording positions. And uh, if you want to check on my page there, Sullivan Rosario, there are several other bits and pieces that I've uh, put out there as well. Now uh, in this, you know, I, I'm uh, in my early 60s now, I've played guitar close to, you know, 48 years or so. And a lot of the stuff that I know, what I'm trying to do is get it out there for those who may not have uh, either taken guitar lessons or um, are watching a lot of YouTube videos to find unique ways to play and, and sing songs. This is one of millions <laughs> probably out there. Um, and uh, so check my page out. There's a lot more of what I'm doing, what I've done, and I'll continue to put in there bits and pieces. And I will say this, that if